How's it going guys? So recently I was trying to reinstall the EOS utility for my EOS DSLR. The problem is I don't have the CD. The other problem is who uses CDs? Um, there's nowhere to download this online. So I couldn't find anywhere. All Canon has is an updater. Well, fortunately, there's a way that you can sort of hack the updater into actually installing the true utility. So if you don't have the CD and you're like me and you don't know where they are or you don't know what's going on, this is a good way around that. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Canon website. I'm um, at the Canon USA one. And at the Canon USA website, um, I picked the T3i, but any of the current lineup of cameras will have this link. So scroll down to drivers and downloads and then software. And you'll see this EOS utility, but it's only the updater. But this is the one we want, and we're actually going to use this to install it. So download it, mount the DMG, and if you open it, you'll notice that it tells you, sorry, we couldn't find uh, the software you want to do install. Well, duh, that's because I want to install it. So here's what we're going to do. Close that. Copy the updater app to your desktop. I ejected it but that's just me and then run it and you'll get the same menu. So cancel it once again, right click the app and show choose package contents. From here, navigate to the contents and resources folder and you'll see this info.datex file. I'm going to open it with subline text, but any text editor works. Once you have it open in a text editor, select everything inside it and delete it. Then save the file, close your text editor, close this resources finder tab, and run it again. And you'll notice that this time, it gives you a much different menu with actual options to install the software. I'm in the US, so I'm going to choose USA. And it tells you, okay, here we go. So install that, and it'll install and you'll have all of the EOS utility applications. So I thought this was a cool way to get around that. Um, there was no way I was going to find my CD, and there was absolutely no way I was going to buy a CD. I don't even have a CD drive on my computer. And yeah, so if you found this useful, uh, leave a like, leave a comment in the descriptions if you had questions or concerns or if it worked for you. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.